British Gas has been accused of being tone deaf for sending this email out amid the rising energy prices. The Twitter user says tone deaf email from British Gas. Look how stern the image is. You can tell they're concerned. Don't worry though, British Gas are making billions. And it's at this point that I have to question, and many people might have to question, whether the privatization of energy in the UK was a big fat mistake. It was the Gas Act of 1986 that saw the privatization of British Gas. And it was floated on the London Stock Exchange in December of 1986 and traded at 135 pence a share, valuing British Gas PLC then at nine billion pounds. But with Centrica, which owns British Gas, reporting 1.3 billion pounds in profits between April and June of this year, and Shell reporting 10 billion pounds in profit for the same period, it's no surprise that emails like this have upset lots of people. The email reads, we know times are really hard at the moment, with rises in living costs putting pressure on your budget and some of our customers may find it difficult managing their energy bills. Political turmoil in 2014 when Centrica's chairman threatened risks of blackouts in the United Kingdom in response to the government threats to impose a price cap or to break up the energy companies in the UK. So as I said all of this must lead many to question whether the privatization was wrong all along as many people have said and leads us back to the question as to what the government can or what the government is going Going to do about it. One thing for sure is that without intervention the prices are going to keep going up and it's a very grim reality that many people are simply not going to be able to pay for their energy this winter. Matthew Taylor who is the chief executive of the NHS Confederation which represents the leaders of the NHS has said that the country is facing a humanitarian crisis and that many people could face the awful choice between skipping meals to heat their homes and having to live in the cold, damp and very unpleasant conditions. He says this in turn could lead to outbreaks of illness and sickness around the country and widen health inequalities, worsen children's life chances and leave an indelible scar on local communities. So this is me saying once again that we must question the privatization acts of the energy companies and question what the government is going to do in these difficult times. So leave your thoughts and comments below. Please do share this video because this message must get wide and far if anyone is going to hear the message and do anything about it. In the meantime, I thank you for watching.